Hello everybody. I am currently marveling at the sight of two guys climbing this rock. Let me show you. Right there. Don't do it, you can't reach him. Yeah. Oh my goodness, guys, it smells so good. Oh my goodness, it's so cute in here. Look at all these bows and headbands. This is so cute. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna buy my niece something. <gasps> dun dun dun. You know what that means. That means it's time to be emo again. Guys, I cannot stand this show. I don't like it at all. But I respect the fact that she does. <laughs> Look at it. it's Shrek. That's amazing. So, um, I haven't been to a Chipotle in quite some time, so we're gonna do that and get and get food. So I'll, I'll see you when we get food. <laughs> I hope there's no coronavirus on my parents, bro. <laughs> what happened? Their food fell. <laughs> oh my goodness. Mm. Guys, she's not happy with me because I recommended that we sit outside in the sun. But the sun also comes with an addition of wind, so. <laughs> Guys, why is 7-Eleven playing sad music? It's actually really beautiful. You don't hear that very often, do you? No. We passed by a playground and there's kids playing outside. I'm gonna assume that they're like elementary kids. Hey, they're going to Walmart. But um But yeah, it was interesting. They were very kind and like they had a few um what are they? Tether balls? Yeah, they had a few kick balls and um they were on the other side of the street, so I tossed them back and they were very kind about it. I was not expecting those kids to be that nice to me because majority of kids tend to be like really rude for some reason and just really judgmental so it was actually really cool. Seeing nice children that weren't on their phone really brought back nostalgic days Manly to me. Donuts. The doctor came in while I was recording, so yeah, I haven't been to the dentist uh, to get teeth pulled in a long time, and I'm here to get my wisdom teeth pulled by myself. Uh, this is just a consultation, so I'm gonna have to wait until the actual day for that, but let's take a look. That right there is my jaw, and as you can see, I've got one wisdom tooth there, and one wisdom tooth there, no wisdom tooth there. And one with
was going to repair. How am I feeling about this? I'm feeling nervous, but I'm also feeling stoked to be knocked out with medicine. I'm gonna have to take some time off work to heal from this. My face is gonna be so swollen, guys. When I was little, I had like a really traumatizing experience at the dentist. I was just so anxious. I felt like I was gonna die every time I went in. I was scared. It was like weird that someone else could be in control of like my teeth, you know, and like pull them out and do what they want to them. But I knew like ultimately it was for the best. It was just scary. I don't know if like modern day construction causes many cities to look very similar to each other, but this looks a lot like Everett. And it's very nostalgic for me. It's very comforting. I found that since I've moved to California, there's a lot of people and a lot of things and a lot of scenarios that remind me of things back home. That remind me of people back at home. Eh, I got hair in my mouth. And so it's just super awesome because I always feel like I see someone that reminds me of someone else. And so I never fully feel like I'm away from that person, if that, if that makes any sense. But, yeah, girls are on their way to get some coffee before we head back to wait for the bus. We'll catch you later. My brother is 0 0.7 miles away from me compared to like the 724 miles that he was. I'm gonna walk around the village later and try and surprise him wherever he ends up. Stay tuned. Hello y'all, it is about 5.20 p.m. in the evening and I just took a shower. It's why my cheeks are all red. Um, I'm getting ready to go see my brother. He's like 0.9 miles away right now, so I'm gonna ride my bike and uh, it's gonna be interesting i'm excited to see my brother it's been almost half a year since i've hugged my own brother so i'll try to get something on footage for you guys Mama, thank you so much for the food. It's delicious. Also. 
So I just introduced Chris and Jordan to some of the Huffians here in Yosemite, and I think they're socialized out and tired from driving and hungry. So we're gonna go eat some casserole that River and I made. And 16-hour drive, man. I'm ready. My ass. My, my butt cheeks hurt. His butt cheeks hurt. The car's full, and it smells like home. Mom, I can smell home. It's very comforting. So I'm gonna ride my bike over to the village I live in, and they're gonna follow behind me in the car without running me over. So we'll see you then, guys. See you later. You know what? I am a rock. I, I am, am a rock. rock. Patrick Starr lives under this rock. Where the fuck and does Squidward live then? Squidward's house it got blown right. away. <laughs> and and over. don't even ask about SpongeBob. He moved. He moved. <laughs> but you're on you're on his house. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna take a shit. Do it. As long as it doesn't come this way, I'm fine. Oh, hell no. Wow. Oh, oh. <laughs> Where'd it go? Just going over to Jordan. Jordan, the raccoon's coming to you. Huh? The raccoon's coming to you. Like this that had a rock that was a little like more slick. If it wasn't as slick. Yeah. Well these caves you can go in them, but if you have but some of them when you're like steep like this, you mm -hmm. can repel into them. Yeah. It's really easy. That's what me and my uncle used to do in Tennessee. That there's a I also call crickets Marvin. A thick so what, Malachi? That? I was making a snake noise. I don't no, know. It's it's like a slurry. <laughs> can I touch him? Is he poisonous? I don't know, it might bite your skin. He might, he's a butt. sneaky little snake. He might, he might get you off. His butt could sting you. Don't do it. Don't touch you, dude. <gasps> he didn't consent. <laughs> Come on now. He's so, like, calm, even though I'm, like, playing with his legs. He's probably screaming and saying, Come on, you just have to come to take me. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> just rock his butt. Yeah. Centipede. Is that a millipede or a centipede? There's another spider. That's a... That's just a little orb weaver. So you can tell by the by the web seed build and the shape of their bodies. So what? Orb weaver? I don't orb know what weaver. kind. Huh. Um, one of my favorite spiders is the golden orb weaver. They build these giant orbs and they have long, like yellow and black bodies. What? Mm -hmm. And they're so mm -hmm. cool. It smells like weed. What do you think? It smells like some dank gone. It smells like some actual marijuana. The greens. How many marijuanas are in this cake? I don't. I think maybe Enough. I think like four point seven weeds are in that. <laughs> I'm gonna go bring this to uh. Let's go bring. Come on, let's go together and find someone to bring this this cakes to. Hello guys, it's Chris Coexist, and um, we're just chilling. We're working right now. It's been a beautiful day. Deliver, Nothing. Delivering some loud ass cake. Some loud ass cake with uh, I don't know what's in it, uh, but I did see my uh, co-worker bring it to the guests uh, when when uh, we finished cleaning the room. So it was their birthday and I guess they didn't want to eat it. I don't know if it's because it smells gross and they uh, could recognize that or if, I think I found our victims. <laughs> Take it, smell it. Good old snifferoo. <laughs> found randomly in a fridge. You don't know what they it, did to it. That's true. I've eaten it before. But if someone dies, rooms. we know who was in that room and who ate the cake. So that's yeah. You Alice, this? smell this cake. Smell it? Yeah. yeah. Give it a snifferoo. She's giving her 
Like She's skeptical. <laughs> like, what is the other thing that it smells like, though, to you? I think it's. I think it just smells like pop because it's really cold. It's like frozen. Okay, so that's what. That's what. Like that's a Jeremy. Like it smells like cold chocolate. I think Maybe Jeremy should bring. Cold chocolate pot. does smell like pot. Yeah, it does. Yeah. But it was a little. Like when a we opened the fridge, it was like. Earthy. <laughs> really? It's like a cloud kind. It just hit your fucking nostril. Just your one nostril, yeah. your left one. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're well, gonna. I mean, if you be my right one, the nose is dropped. <laughs> 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 What does it smell like? I don't know, I can't tell. Smell it harder. No, I don't smell want it. To. <laughs> like nothing, to be no one uh, really wanted the cake. This uh, this cake is rejected, like many of us back in our late middle school days. Yes. Rejected to the point of tears. This reminds me of. When oh. Yo, Chris, huh? I need help with the room out here. Hold on, I'm, I'm doing something. All right. But, oh, fuck. Oh, what is that? Oh, oh, <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, no, man. Like, you just, you don't understand. Nor you, norovirus is going around. Norovirus is going around, bro. You you have you, you haven't had explosive <laughs> explosive diarrhea, guys. Bro, I can't be the only one. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Hi guys, yep. it's Jordan and Emily and Justin and me, and it Baby. is Sunday, March 14th, and it's Ooh. raining out here in Yosemite Valley, and it's actually really beautiful, because, <laughs> thanks Emily, <laughs> it's the 15th, and it's raining, and it's really beautiful, because it doesn't rain very often, and yeah, yeah. we're working, it's been awesome. Did you want to start at 33? Yeah, we'll just set up in the spot. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna have a going away party for Mike C today Mike after. Wazowski. I almost said after school. Bye. Bye. After, school. after work because he's going to go hike the Appalachian Trail and he's been here for a few months, but he's the kind of guy who literally will just pack up his stuff and just go like literally be a nomad hiker and it's super cool because like he's walked, I think he said he's walked over 4,000 miles. It's a party in my zone, ayy. 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 Ay. Ay. Don't you do that. I'm gonna toss the vacuum over there. Don't, don't do that or your cakes are gonna deflate. My cakes are gonna deflate. Hey, what are you doing in here? Oh my gosh, guys. Somebody here has Corona. Guys. Ah! Corona! It's raining, it's pouring, it's a beautiful day. Say what's up, guys. What's, what's up? up? What's, what's up, up, guys? What's up? What's up? What's up? Hey, hey, hey. Woo! Woo! Samantha, Samantha. 
McKenna. This girl right here, here, she initiated this like whole cooking thing. So, and this is Samantha. And <laughs> <laughs> Where's Mike? That's Mike. Hi. Mike, this is for you and Samantha. Hi, everybody. Hello. This Hello. lady right here, that's where it's at. She is the best. Yeah. Everything that you're seeing around here is because of her. It's because it's because of her. It's because everyone decided uh, to come say hello. It's because of her. It's because everyone decided to come say hello to you, Mike. Oh yeah, that was a good one. I didn't take this backpack off. See, that was perfect. There's that part that was like over. See, this is all just like leftover foliage that people, not people, but nature's just rust. And it probably just yes. sense the rain in mm -hmm. the air. So guys, if you didn't know, um, controlled fires, uh, controlled fires as well as natural fires allow for um, debris to be removed from forests and helps enable the germination of new plants and wildlife. Mm. So yeah, let the fires fire. Yeah. But don't, uh, you know, encourage them yourself or throw your cigarette butts out your window yeah. while driving through a national park. Did you see buildings and blocks? It's starting to um, decline. That was to, um, decline. That was me throwing up. <laughs>
And you're the best in the whole wide world. Kawaii. What's up, buddy?